tell you all it's cold. That is a very, very, very big understatement. It is freezing. I mean, just to get kind of in the water, we're, we're kind of going through stuff we ain't used to going through. My rudder's frozen on the kayak. All the locks to get into my little boxes to get the paddles and everything, all that stuff was frozen. I actually had to blow on the lock with my mouth to, to, to dethaw that thing. So check it out. And that thing's gonna last 10 times longer than that. Contact. Contact, dude. Look at the top of the bona fide jaw. Frozen. Frozen solid. Frozen. Yeah, the rudder is frozen. So if you saw the last video on Norris, we were pre-fishing for the tournament coming up next weekend. So that was about three weeks out, close to a month out from the actual tournament. We wanted to get up here, you know, scratch off some areas, you know, before the tournament. That day we put in on the far side of the lake over on the Powell River side. Today we're putting in on the Clinch River side of Norris Lake. Something completely different, the complete other side. So I'm hoping that we can get up here and get a little something figured out. Really cool area and uh, it looks like we got a lot of rock and we're in a creek that comes in, a giant creek that flows in to Norris Lake. So, but yeah, we're gonna get out here and see if we can get a little something figured out and see if this is gonna be our spot for next weekend. I mean, we're running out of time to pre-fish. We got one week left until the tournament. So today's Sunday, tournament Saturday. So oh, God. you ready, Matt? Them hands are frozen, ain't they? Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna get out here. We're gonna pull the truck up. We're gonna go in and pay. This is a pay ramp, $5 pay ramp one cool thing is they do got a bathroom over here so that's cool too so but let's get in the water and uh, see if we can get this rudder and stuff unthawed luckily matt brought some little feet warmers he thought he had ham warmers but he grabbed the feet warmers but hey it's still doing the job though put these thing in your pockets keep your hands nice and warm so hopefully we can find some fish today and this will be where we'll be coming saturday for the tournament so pretty cool deal here we go john This is one of the coolest things I've gotten to use out on the kayak right here, to be able to communicate like that. Super cool. Matt's about a mile behind me on the other side of the lake. Having these things is amazing. Really, really cool. All right, good luck. Let's get something figured out. See what our best three goes today and uh see how we fare in the day. Fifteen seven five on number one. We need bigger than that. Fifteen seven five. I paddled back across the channel there. I'm back kind of where I started at, where all the houseboats are. I'm gonna work this left side. I'm gonna work out around this point, work up into the river section. So I'm in 55 foot of water and I'm right off the bank, it's so deep. I guess I'll throw the net. I cranked all morning, throwing a fritz side and throwing that, um, that little, uh, 
shad wrap on the spinning reel. I threw that around a lot this morning. I got down to that bluff, picked up the nad, finally caught a large mouth. So I'm gonna try to do that down through here since it's a lot deeper. Mean. Their mouths are red. This net rig's probably gonna be the deal. I probably should have brought a jig. I didn't bring a jig. I was going to. I thought they'd be kind of on that Kitek Ned rig deal. But uh yeah. Number two. Beautiful fish. Let's see how long it is. That one is 16, 16 on the dot. So we got a 15.75 and a 16. All right, there we go. Number two, 16 inches. Number two, number two, finally. Yeah, let's see what time it is. 11.30, we got number two. So not a great start, but I will take it. Number two on a Ned. I thought we would have caught some fish down this little bluff here. We haven't gotten the first bite. Right here in this river section too. Looks like a, I think there's a creek coming in up here, a big creek. Looking like a lot of birds up there. We may work on it to that creek. Or we're gonna work on it to that creek, but we may go back into it a little bit. I think that's the creek, I'm about positive it is. And all them birds are sitting right on the mouth of it. There might be some fish up there in that thing. There we go, guys. Right there. Molly, too. Graphed over a couple marks on the graph, so I just casted that contact right out in front of me where this drops off, brought it back towards me. Just letting that thing fall, boom, a little smally. He ain't big, but I'll take it. Right there on that contact. I've got that on a Ned head, so it's weedless around all these rocks. All right, let's see what this one goes. We'll add it to the, add it to the total. It ain't gonna do much. It ain't gonna win nothing in the tournament, but you know, as long as we can catch a limit and just do a couple upgrades, it'll be all right. He's a keeper. 12 and a, almost 12 and a half. Let's get up here. Since it don't really matter that much right now, we'll just say 12 and a quarter. So barely a keeper, a little small mouth. So like I said, just throw that Kitek out, let that thing just kind of float down to the bottom nice and slow, and there it was. I just got bit. Oh, I got a big one. I think it's a big one. Oh, yeah, it's a giant. Nope. <laughs> it's a good one, though. Six pound set. Oh, yeah, it's a good large mouth. That'll get rid of that twin. Look at that mouth. That mouth is, I mean, beat up. These fish are up in here eating crawfish. Look at that mouth. 
Look how red that is. A little upgrade. I felt that fish just destroy it. I mean, I felt that just boop, <laughs> literally. I don't know, guys. We might got a little something figured out here. Fifteen. Fifteen and a half. So we got three fifteens. There we go. Another fifteen. That was our first upgrade of the day right there. Like I said, guys, we're not fishing the tournament today. We're just pre-fishing, but I'm just keeping up kind of with what I catch today. Get an idea of if I want to come back here. We've only got this week to figure it out. So, And this ain't the fish we want to catch. I mean, we need some 18, 17s. So I got a 15, 7.5 plus a 15 and a half. So we got 47 and a quarter right now. So, uh, fifteen and a quarter. So we can make some upgrades. That felt like a good fish. It really did. I'm not gonna lie. But like I said, I'm throwing a pretty light rod, throwing six pound test. So I guess they're gonna feel that way. Little update. It's two twenty two. Got four fish. Our best three is. Uh, 47 or something like that. We got three 15s. 15 and a half, 15, 7, 5. Oh, we got a 16. So 15 and a half, 15, 7, 5, 16 is our best three today. Not very good. But, I'll try to fish a little more on the way out. We got a haul back to where we launched. I'm miles from the ramp. Looks like the wind's calmed down a little bit, so that's good. It was getting really bad for a second. Still blowing pretty hard, but not as bad. Sometimes you lose, part of the game. Today we, we kind of lost. I mean, not what I wanted. I was, I was hoping to find a couple quality, you know, anything 17, 18 or bigger to really make me want to come back here Saturday. You know, having to cover that much water, like I said, for those few bites, just, ah, I was really hoping this spot was going to produce. But, produce that good, so. How many you catch today, Matt? Six. You figure out how many inches you got? 43 inches. 43 inches. What'd you have? 47 and a quarter. Damn. <laughs> but it's still, that ain't, uh, that, nah, ain't gonna, that ain't gonna cut nah, it. Nah. Well guys, you saw the day. I mean, <laughs> that's what happens when you come to Norris twice to pre-fish and you don't fish this lake. You're gonna, you're gonna get your butt whooped sometimes. So, I mean, that's kind of what happened today. We did catch fish though. I if, you, if you look at it in that aspect, just coming up here, fishing, having fun. We, we caught, yeah, we caught some fish, but man, it was freezing cold this morning, so miserable. I'm absolutely wore out. I paddled 10 miles today in that kayak. I, I measured how far I paddled, 10 miles, so I'm, I'm beat. We're going to try to stop and grab some food on the way home, so yes. hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't, please like, subscribe, and uh, like I said, be looking forward to the tournament video next weekend. You all won't see this video until the day of the tournament, so this is the Sunday before, so y'all won't even see this till tournament day. We may just wing it and go to a random ramp that on the map because these two didn't really produce. Is it worth to come out here and put in that much work? Not knowing. So, I don't know. Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.